Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2 Editor from Sound Tower. To access the sequencer in the Pro 2 Editor, just click the Sequencer tab. Here we can see that for the square bass program, we have a 32-step sequence. On this track, we can see that this is set up for the notes that will be played for each of the steps. And below here, we can see that there are seven additional tracks. Each one of these tracks can be assigned to one of the various parameters within the Pro 2 and be adjusted with the 32 steps that are going through for the notes. The sequencer can run in a 32 by 8 mode, which is what we're seeing here where there's 32 steps and a total of 8 tracks. It can also run in 16 by 16, where there are 16 steps in the sequence and 16 available parameters that can be adjusted over time through the sequence. We'll leave it at uh, 32 by 8 because that's what's been set up for the square base. We'll turn the sequencer on here. We'll see that the play source has been set to key. That means that I have to hold a key down on the Pro 2 to start and initiate the sequence. So let's do that. That's the 32 steps of this sequence. Up here we'll see the restart button. If I turn that off and successively hit the key, The sequence just picks up from the last note that was played. If I hit the restart, it always starts back on this step. This envelope trigger uh, over the steps means that every time the, there's a step in the sequence, the envelope triggers, the envelope re-triggers. If I turn that off, the envelope doesn't trigger, it's just smooth. I'm going to change this play source over to the sequencer. And now if I hit the play button on the Pro 2, this will just free run, which is we'll, we'll set it up like that, and then we can play with the different parameters. Now we can adjust the, the uh, tempo. Now, we don't have to play all the steps. We can create rests. We can tie notes together. Get the whole sequence running again. We can adjust velocity. There's two different draw modes. Uh, right now we're in slider mode where we have to pull the sliders and adjust them one at a time. We can also go into pen mode where we can just draw. So that's showing a velocity setting that I've done. Let's just kind of get the velocities all back up to where they were. Kind of a steady, a regular steady velocity. Let's go back to notes and we'll just play a short sequence again. We can adjust the note values. Uh, best ways to do it with a, uh, a mouse, with a scroll wheel. Back to all the steps. Let's look at slew. Uh, I'll go back to oscillators. I'm going to turn on glide and go to slew. What we can do here So now you get the gliding between the between certain notes. Let's initiate another track here. I am going to go to uh, distortion. Okay, let's just hit a, a few notes a little hard here with some distortion.
hearing the distortion pick up on a few of the steps now. Now what is very cool on this, you don't have to have all the steps on all the tracks. If I limit the number of steps on the distortion track, if I go to three steps, so the notes are playing 32 steps, the slew is playing 32 steps, but in this case the distortion is only playing three steps. So it creates a different kind of groove. Let's go a few more steps here. So lots of possibilities. The sequencer on the uh, Pro 2 is very fun and uh, clearly uh, a ton of things that you can do with it. The best thing to do is just get in and experiment, have a, a lot of fun, don't uh, limit yourself, try all different kinds of parameters that you can adjust and uh, you may come up with some just stunning things. Don't forget to save the program back uh, to the uh, in the library to be sure that you have it saved out once you come up with something you really like. Save it over a different location if you're worried about wiping something else out. Just take some time and think about what you're trying to create. Uh, find the parameters you want to adjust over time and I'm sure you'll come up with some, uh, some great effects. Using the Sound Tower Editor for the Pro 2 synth from Dave Smith Instruments is a great way to reach inside this very powerful synthesizer. It's so easy.